Hi, this is John Paul with Retronyms. Uh, I'd like to show some of the new features in the most recent release of DopplerPad. This is DopplerPad 1.05. Uh, so let's just take a look. So the first area where there's a few new things to look at uh, is the gate ARP control. So if we go into the editor for this, uh, the first thing you'll see across the top here is a new uh, dynamic selector. And this lets you create more expressive rhythmic patterns by having you know, variation in dynamics uh, among the notes. So we've got this toggle here that lets you set soft, medium, and hard, and that essentially corresponds to volume. So if I drop in a soft note, you'll see uh, a light brick, medium, slightly darker, and hard, uh, darker still. So you still create long, short notes, anything you want, uh, but now you've got some control over, over volume variation. And all of this is still controlled by the overall touch velocity that you touch the screen with. Um, so you can create the, make the whole kind of rhythmic, uh, loud, soft, loud, soft, uh, louder and softer based on how, how hard you touch. So let's uh, take a listen. Uh, let me pull up one of the new uh, drum kits. We've got several new instruments as well. You can hear uh, loud and soft going on there. Uh, next thing to take a look at is the shuffle control. Basically, this lets you uh, have a swing in your beat. So let me pick another instrument here. And I'll kind of simulate multi-touch uh, so you can hear the effect. So that's a pretty straight ahead beat. So basically, we've got um, uh, you know zero being a straight ahead beat, hundred being quite a lot of swing, you know, and fifty being somewhere in the middle. So the next thing I want to show is the uh, beat shift feature. It's up here in the the loop controls. Uh, so here's the control, and it basically it lets you uh, change the the offset between beats uh, from two loops. Let's take a look at it. Overall, we've really improved uh, the tempo sync between loops, so they they always stay uh, locked into tempo. And this is just one more control to to sort of affect how they overlap. So I'll start up this drum beat here. So you can see up here in the the sort of mini second row. Uh, this is actually the other pad. Uh, and you can sort of see its, its beat progression. So that's beat eight, beat one over here. So I'll start this one up. So you can see they're locked into beat step right now. So they'll stay in tempo, but I can change where they are with beat shift. So that's it in a nutshell. Um, I'll load up some more uh, complicated loops here. Oops. All right, so So I'd like to talk a little bit about uh, some updates we've made to the samplers. Here's our basic sampler. And uh, you can now uh, apply gate to the sampler. So the shuffle and dynamics that I talked about uh, work here as well. Um, we have some new samplers. We've got the speed back, which allows you to control speed uh, and pitch on the vertical axis. Uh, there's the echo chamber, which allows you to control uh, delay time on the vertical axis. 
So quick delay up here, slower delay down there. And then there's the echo pitch, which uh, allows you to control pitch and delay time on the Y. So you can uh, use these samplers along with your gated uh, uh, pattern to create some pretty interesting effects. So the last thing I want to talk about is the Wi-Fi sync feature. This allows you to transfer loops from your iPhone to your desktop over Wi-Fi. So I'm going to go ahead and tap this Tools button. And the only thing in here right now is Wi-Fi sync. I'll tap that. And this just shows you a standard URL that you can enter into a web browser. Uh, since I'm running this in the simulator, the URL is a bit missy right now. So I'll go over to my uh, Safari. If you're running Safari, you can actually access it through Bonjour. DopplerPad asks you to confirm the incoming connection. And now I'm connected. So I'll go back to the browser. You can basically see here a view of all your loops. Uh, available in your loop bank as well as what's loaded onto pad A and pad B uh, and you can even get the current mix from the the mixer which gives you the the crossfade amount so I'm going to go ahead and uh, click one of these it downloads the loop and opens it in uh, iTunes so you can do that for any loop here Grab this one off the mixer, pad B. So there we have it, pretty simple. Now that you have them in your iTunes library, you can drag them anywhere else you need them and use them in any other software. So that's Wi-Fi Sync. And that's about it to cover today. Uh, we've also improved performance, so I, I hope you enjoy that. And uh, you know, try out the new stuff in DopperPad. Thanks a lot.